Hello everyone and welcome to presentation of new Renault Clio Hybrid. Renault ETA Hybrid technology unveiled at the 2020 Brussels Motor Show early this month, as it's expected the new technology to command a diesel-like share of the market. We spoke with Renault engineers and drove by a new Renault Clio Hybrid on the country roads in France. Let's begin with the technical story. The new petrol ETA Hybrid based on a hybrid series parallel architecture to ensure the largest range of combinations and the lowest CO2 emissions. The core technology is a hybrid transmission enabling two electric motor generators to assist a 1.6-litre four-cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine originally developed by Nissan. At the back of the car is a 1.2 kWh lithium-ion battery charged by regenerative braking and by the motor generator which is permanently connected to the engine. Renault's aim was to offer a driving experience similar to an electric vehicle while avoiding the unnatural disconnected engine behavior of hybrid under heavy acceleration. The hybrid car range also taps into the extensive knowledge base of the Renault F1 team. In 2014, that was the beginning of the collaboration between the Renault cars and, uh, and the Formula One. And since this time, we have developed a lot of synergy between, uh, uh, between the way to work in Formula One and the way to work for hybrid engine. And in, uh, in Clio 5, for example, we, had, we have a lot of challenges which are exactly the same in Formula 1. Uh, first one is uh, fuel consumption. Uh, another example is uh, the packaging. In uh, Clio 5, uh, the new technology we have developed, uh, especially coming from the gearbox of the Formula 1, allow us to have a gearbox without any clutch. And with this space available, we, we have a, uh, an electrical motor. I'm Pascal Comont, I'm a project leader for hybrid power train in Renault. We are using some uh, Formula One device. Uh, main one is in the heart of the gearbox, what we call dock clutch. The way we engage the uh, gear ratio is exactly the same than the one which is used in the race car like Formula 1, which is called the clutch without any synchronous mesh. This is to improve gear shift speed and uh, the global efficiency, which is key also for Formula 1. The other main point we are sharing with Formula 1, which is coming from Formula 1, is the global energy management. Uh, like Formula 1, we need to refill the battery as much as we can. For, for battery, for Formula One battery refill is uh, very important for best uh, performances available at the start or when they leave the pits uh, or after the turns. On our side, the battery management is very important for fuel efficiency. Of course, following the new regulation for Formula One, uh, fuel efficiency is also a key point. But at this stage, uh, this is the two main topics we are sharing with the Formula One and which are coming from our Formula One colleague in Vieille Châtillon. Dark clutch, energy management. This is uh, E-Tech gearbox uh, explanations. Uh, this is a dual gearbox inside the same housing. We have on one side EV gearbox with two gears, EV1, EV2. On the other side there is IC gearbox with four speed. One, two, three, four. And we can combine, combine all these gears all together to have or EV mode only, like this one. So current will come from battery and will go to the wheel using EV1 and later EV2. We can have also serial mode, means that the IC will be turned on using secondary motor and then the energy coming from the IC will go to the battery in the same time that the battery will provide energy to go to the main motor and this main motor will provide torque to the wheel. Finally we have the most efficient way to drive this car which is parallel mode. Battery is providing some current to the main motor and IC is providing some torque and we can go to the second gear, third gear or four gears like we see on this animation. We will go on the second gear, then the third gear 
and then third gear will be removed and the fourth gear will be engaged. Here it is. And this is highway mode. This is the best way for us to achieve a very good efficiency level. Of course, like other hybrid and EV cars, we can also use regenerative energy at braking level. So when you remove the feet out of the accelerator pedal or when you are pushing the braking pedal, e-motor will save some energy coming from inertia of the car and will put it back into the battery. After a while, the IC will be stopped. During this phase, before it stopped, energy can be also recovered by HSG. In case of braking, the total recovery energy available is 50 kilowatts, which can go to the battery. This is all the way we can use this e-tech technology. In next video, we are going to drive new Clio hybrid. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please, to save us and see you soon. No straight, straight.